to news facts. Well, the Secret Service Director Kim Cheadle is speaking in front of Congress after the failure of protecting Donald Trump at the rally. Well, let's see if she will be transparent. Chair now recognizes Ms. Marjorie Taylor Greene from Georgia. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Ms. Cheadle, I'd like to remind you that you're under oath. The site team has a senior supervisor, an advanced team, a protective intelligence team, a counter sniper element, and detail. Who was the agent in charge? How long has she been the agent in charge? And what is her Secret Service background? So I'm not going to provide a name. Of Why not? You're here to answer our questions. This forum, I'm not going to provide names. of. You stated in your testimony, you said, I am here today to answer your questions. That is correct. Answer the question. I'm not going to provide names of our personnel. To Why not? Today. The American people are demanding these answers from you today, Ms. Cheadle. I will do the best to provide you accurate information based on the facts that I have at this time. You're not answering our questions. The advanced element coordinates with other intel or law enforcement partners, identifies threats and weaknesses at the sites and movements. We'd like a copy of the advanced report. Have you brought it here with you today? We will comply with the request for the documentation that has been requested. When will that be, Ms. Cheadle? Because you should have brought it today. I am certain that our personnel are working on uh, obtaining all of that document. I don't believe you, and neither do the people watching this hearing. You're not doing well, as Mr. Mos Moskowitz informed you. You have been sitting here for over three hours, and I have you know the entire country is demanding you resign and demanding that you be fired if you do not resign. Things are not going well for you. You need to answer the questions. Was there a protective intelligence team and what technical resources were utilized for that event, specifically drone or helicopter assets? There were a number of technical assets that were deployed for that event, and there was a protective intelligence team that was assigned to that event. Why was Crooks able to fly a drone over the entire area the day of the rally and the day of his assassination attempt? To my knowledge, he did not fly the drone over the entire area. How did he fly a drone over the area, period, any part of the area? Again, I would have to go back and check the timeline of when that took place and when the event... Why didn't you bring the timeline with you today to answer our questions? I don't have all of the answers on the timelines based on the criminal investigation. Were you not prepared today to answer I our questions? I am prepared to answer the questions based on the information... Uh, and wanted to be able to provide. Do you have a timeline that you, do you have a timeline at all from, from any of the day? I have a uh, timeline that does not have specifics. That's shocking. <laughs> I, that is absolutely unacceptable. That means you are a failure at your job. Let's talk about things that are prohibited in Trump rallies. And I've been to a lot of Trump rallies. Backpacks and bags. Bicycles, firearms, uh, any type of weapon, or any other item determined to be a potential safety hazard, like a range, a range finder would be one. Uh, at 510, Crooks is first observed by one of the snipers, AGR Sniper 1, at the building. 510, 510, President, shot, President Trump was shot in the face at 611 p.m. 528, AGR Sniper 1 takes a picture of a bicycle and two bags. Those belong to Crooks. 532, AGR Sniper 1 spots Crooks looking at his phone and using a range finder. 555, Butler ESU Command confirms receipt of photos and states they have been relayed on. 6.05 p.m., AGR Sniper 1 later communicates that Crooks is seen moving northeast in direction of Sheets and that Crooks has a backpack. Two minutes before the shooting, while President Trump has been allowed to take the stage, people see Crooks laying on his stomach in a sniper position on the roof and they're yelling he has a gun and they are trying to alert law enforcement and Secret Service. Why was Crooks not shot by, a snooper, by the snipers? Why was he allowed to be there? As soon as the individual was identified as a threat, 
They were no, 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 no. What do you consider to be a threat? A man with a gun laying in a sniper position, a man that had a backpack, a man that had a bicycle, a man that had a range finder. At what point is he determined a threat? An individual with a backpack is not a threat. An individual with a range finder is not a threat. What about a man laying on a building that has direct line of sight of President Trump with a gun that people are screaming and pointing out? Is that a threat, Ms. Cheadle? Once that an individual was identified, they were neutralized. No, they were neutralized. Crooks was neutralized after he shot President Trump in the face, Ms. Cheadle. Is he only a threat once he fires the weapon? As soon as the counter sniper identified that individual, they were able to neutralize them. How were people in the crowd? Okay, then let's just take it this way. People under your command did not consider him to be a threat, yet people in the crowd knew he had a gun and considered him to be a threat. That means that you are a complete failure as the director of the Secret Service, that people under your command don't perceive a man laying on a roof with direct line to the president with a gun. They don't perceive that to be a threat, yet the people in the crowd do. How is that possible? That's the last question, but please answer the question, Ms. Uh, director. I'm not certain at this time how the information from the people in the crowd was relayed to any law enforcement personnel. No, you knew that everyone knew the people there knew that there was a danger. They knew there was a threat to President Trump, and it was allowed to happen. Was there a stand-down order, Ms. Cheadle? No. Was there a conspiracy to kill President Trump? Absolutely not. Then how did this happen? And why are you still sitting here not turning in your letter of resignation? L last question, but please answer, and then I'll recognize Ms. Presley. Please answer the question. Directly. That is what we are investigating to determine. We're, we're waiting for your letter. We are waiting for your letter of resignation, and you, you really need to consider doing that before you leave today. Thank you. Chair, Chair, now recognize Ms. Presley from Massachusetts. Thank you.